Jeanette, hi, we're going to recap, revise what we did today. We did Happy Birthday, and I'm going to play it through once quickly. Okay, now, before we get going, remember we need to practice every day for five minutes. Don't forget like you did last time, okay? Because you've got a lot of talent and I need you to work with me here. Now, if you look at your file that you printed out, there's a page that I sent along with some zeros and twos and all crazy things. We're going to start on the third string. We're going to start plucking this string. This is the string with the zeros written on it. So you're going to pluck it twice for happy for that over there, okay? And at the top of here, the zeros mean I'm using zero fingers, I'm using no fingers. So these are the two zeros, if I play them together, you can see left and right hand, nothing used yet. Now the next we see is a two, and that's fret number two. Now before we go past fret number two, I want to remind us that everything in fret number one for happy birthday is going to be first finger. First finger, fret one. Second finger, your middle finger, is going to play everything in fret number two. Your ring finger is going to look after all the threes. So what we're trying to do is keep your hand in one position. We don't want one finger going up and down and left and right and all crazy things like that. We want each finger to look after his own fret. Okay. Funky, he's still on holiday. Don't have to worry about the banky. Now, back to the zero, zero, two, zero. You start with the two opens, put the finger down for number two, and then off with the zero. Okay, that's your happy birthday. You got that. Next two notes are one zero, but they're not in the same string. You'll notice on the page it's sort of one line up, which means on the guitar it's one string down, because the top line is the bottom string. The bottom line on the page is your top string, so it's always upside down. Okay, so we're going to pluck them for the one, that string, you can see my fingers touching it. That's the one sounding there. And there's my first finger on the first fret. And then after that, I take him off for the open. So the first six notes slowly sound like this. Now I'm going to count one, two, three, four. So if you want to play along, you can. Are you ready, my friend? One, two, three, four. One more time, come a bit closer so you can see the fingers. One, two, three, four. Now, once you've got that smooth, we go to the next bar, which starts off the same. The first four notes are exactly the same, zero, zero, two, zero. But after that, we've got a three and a one. Now remember what we said a few minutes ago, everything in the third fret must be the third finger, everything in the first fret, first finger. So when you play three, that's my three, that's my one. So if you play the complete second bar, open, open, two, open, three, and one. Now I'm going to play the first complete top line of happy birthday. I'm going to go a bit out there, zoom a bit out, and we're going to just get a bit of angle. And now we can see both hands, and let's have a go. I'm going to count in, and if you want to play along with that, it'd be cool. Okay. One, two, three, four. Do it one more time a little bit slower because I'm not sure where your speed is at right now. One, two, three, four. Okay. And Jeanette, that's the first top line. Okay. I'm going to go back to focusing more onto my other hand now. And now we on onto the bottom line. We're going to start off with the same double zero as we did before and we're going to go and 
you'll see that again finger 3 is in fret 3 finger 1 is in fret 1 fret 2 is in fret 2 very important there okay we're starting with the same two zeros and now the ring finger jumps to the 3 on the very top line of the 6 lines which is the very bottom string that's your 3 and you can see my hand there plucking the bottom string okay and then after that open first fret of the second string open fret of the second string and you end over there now I'm not going to play the last bar I want you to try and work out the last bar for me and then I want you to send me a video of you playing the whole piece when you're ready and just quickly before you go when you're playing I notice that sometimes you do your hand like this and you got your hand flat and you're playing with your thumb I really don't want us to do that because your hand is stretching so you don't want to stretch the hand so with the picking I want you to rest your hand here near the hole and your first finger is going to pick the strings and your thumb can rest over here somewhere so watch my finger as it works as I play it through so you can see it's a very small movement but my hand isn't stretched so please this would be bad because now my fingers are battling to get there and this is also bad because my thumb is stretching to get to the top so keep your thumb and your fingers really close to the strings that's very very important for me Jeanette if you got any questions please you don't hesitate you ask your mom or dad to give me a whatsapp and I will help you out thank you